So the two books that I've chosen for explaining the categories are This Is Not My Hat by jo John Klassen and Creepy Carrots by Aaron Reynolds. Um, this Is Not My Hat would fall under the category of um, picture storybook because the illustrations are telling the story and it's a book you would have to read at bedtime because the kids it's probably not a book that uh, kids uh, that are learning to read um, can read on their own um, creepy carrots uh, would fall under the graphic novel because it has a beginning middle and end uh, the beginning Jasper the rabbit was eating all the carrots on his way uh, to school to the baseball field and then in the middle is when the carrots were <laughs> Uh, haunting him and um, showing up everywhere he went and then in the end he stopped eating the carrots on his way everywhere and the carrots um, then stopped haunting him and he was fine he knew that if he stopped eating the carrots then the carrots wouldn't haunt him anymore um, the illustrations in Jumanji are very detailed and um, serious the illustrations seem dark and like suspenseful um, which is like, you know, uh, what's going to happen next. It keeps you going. It keeps you wanting to read it. Um, which is the mood of it, you know. Um, the other two books that I chose to, um, evaluate were Grandpa Green. Uh, the illustrations in this book define and develop the character. And at the end, it extends the plot. Um, the development of the character, which is going to be Grandpa in the, it's about how he loved to make shapes in the bushes, how he loved to, you know, just be out in the garden. Um, the end shows the pop out of all the trees and the work that he did, um, which extended the uh, plot. The Lion and the Mouse by Jerry Pinkney. Uh, the illustrations were um, establishing a setting because there were no words, it was just pictures. Um, the pictures helped define the characters because it had no words. You had to imagine the character yourself. Um, also would provide a differing um, viewpoint because you had to make your own story. You had to tell the story yourself just how you seen it through the pictures. Um, the last two books that I have chosen to um, uh, pick were Sleep Like a Tiger and Owl Moon. Um, the design of Owl Moon was full of detailed pictures. The actions, the characters were moving the story along. So it kept you interested in what was going to happen next. Um, the details in Sleep Like a Tiger are colorful and it shows like realism. The, um, like the actions of the child are really like what happens, you know, if... It's time to go to sleep. The kids don't want to go to sleep. They want to stay awake. They want a drink of water. They want to imagine this and imagine that. So the illustrations keep up with uh, like what the child was doing and imagining at the time when it was supposed to be, you know, time to go to bed. <laughs>